All right. Hello, everybody. Nice seeing you again. I'm Gavin Dawson. Welcome into GD Crypto here. I'm on vacation. A little holiday at uh, my parents' house in Central Oregon in the Bend area. So we're up in the mountains. It snowed this morning. We had a white Christmas. And uh, that's exciting, but not quite as exciting as the chart over here on Friend. Uh, the new Cardano meme coin. First, we had Snack, and now uh, look at look at Friend just coming on. And I wanted to do a little bit of a video here today to talk about you know what's going on with Friend, kind of share their story with you. And I know there's a lot of people that are looking for more content, but you know with this chart doing what it is, it's only been live since the 19th. That is under a week old. But with this chart doing what it is right now, I would not be surprised to see more and more people looking for info on Friend. And I was like, well, hey, let's make something. So for the folks on uh, the YouTube community that are searching uh, dollar sign friend, we'll have something here for you. Okay. An extra special salute to all my friends out there, especially on, on crypto Twitter and in the discord. This meme is is gaining steam and it is it's just so much damn fun. And it's, uh you know, the, the number one thing we're going to discuss in this episode right here, but I'm also going to look at other news uh, here for you. I, I am tracking the four hour EMA ribbon because that's what SNEC used as support all the way up. Um, so that's all about all the indicators that I'm looking at right now. But if you have a cool one that, uh, you know, we should be looking at for new meme coins, I, I'd love to hear it. OK, um, six days old. Um, you know, what we dream about in crypto is, is a chance to be early. And I don't know if uh, that's what this is right now, a chance for you to be early, but maybe this is like a Cardano version of Pepe. You know, that's the question to ask and, and, and the setup of this video for you. You know, how far is this thing going with the market cap around 10 million USD right now? Snack at 150 million, you know, Pepe at five, 600 million and Bonk, you know, I think approaching uh, uh, 2 billion. Uh, now they've just been absolutely on fire. So leave a comment down below. Please interact with me on the Twitter X, especially if you uh, see the tweet about this video. That would be outstanding. But we are looking at Friend, F-R-E-N. And I'm going to tell you everything important that I found to know about it, you know, how to get it, whatnot. The initial surge on the 19th met by, you know, a couple of bullish days here on the 20th and the 21st. Um, and I was thinking at that time, you know, hey, uh, you know, maybe this is all we got. As I'm, I'm never into the pre-sales. I don't mint much stuff. I just, there's so much stuff that that shows up, has two green candles like this, whether it's an NFT or a meme. And then this is the beginning of the end. But I was hanging out on, on the 23rd on Friday. And I just, I noticed that the friend meme was not going away at all. I checked on the JPEG store a little bit. And then I saw some people starting to get into the friend coin. And I was like, okay, so I actually bought in as, you know, a, around noon. I, I think we must have been getting around this area of the chart. We'd had a couple of good four hour candles. The discord was really starting to fire up. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and jump in here. I bought three NFTs and I bought some friend there on the 23rd. And, and look at this. It has stayed above the EMA band uh, since then. And then on, on, on Christmas Eve yesterday, this huge candle, we've been bumping around in the 20s from like 20 to 25. It absolutely flinged to 45. I actually started prepping out this video Christmas Eve night. Didn't look at the chart for about 45 minutes or an hour. And I was like, holy cow. I might need to take a little profit here. Took out my initial, took out, you know, a little bit extra. So I, I have a little bit of kitty maybe to buy the next big meme coin that comes along. But that's a, you know, that's something I love to do. If a meme coin triples or quadruple X's in the 24 hours since I bought it, let's take out the initial. And now I have a free bag of friend that is absolutely massive. I mean, it's it's not massive compared to some of the bigger bags out there, but um it is, it's a, it's, it's a fun strategy. And, you know, a way to look at that strategy, if you're getting into new meme coins is maybe I'll, maybe I'll may keep that money and trade. If we did, if we do get a big dip down to that 25 or 30 level that we were on early Christmas Eve morning, if we get back there, I can buy in, but if it goes, it's gone. And I I've taken promise, uh, pro profits, you know, and, and lock those in. And I still have, you know, quite a bit of that initial bag to keep rocking with. Okay. But, uh, Friend's going to be our main story. And I just wanted to give you a snapshot there of the chart, sort of my approach, what, what I've done, what I've observed so far in, in the three days since I've I've gotten in. The Discord is still crazy. I mean, if you look right now, we're we're at all-time highs. And if we would jump over here on the Discord, 
Let's go ahead and do that for you here for the first time. Uh, if we would jump over here on the Discord, I, you know, this thing is just going to be absolutely stupid. Um, obviously, let's go. Friend Candles. It's just immaculate vibes constantly. Let's go. Send it to Valhalla. All-time high, LFG. Guess it's a full send. I mean, it's just, it's it's mean paradise here when you get to the Pepe Frogs and stuff like that. And that's where we are right now. Let me go ahead and jump over here to their, their main page here, adapeepos.com. And you get some, some details in here. But a, a well done, quickly thrown together, um, you know, meme website. And they give you the tokenomics and everything. They've gotten they've gotten rid of a lot of uh, you know uh, extra tokens already through burn mechanisms and uh, and airdrops already. So what's in circulation now is pretty close to a one hundred percent of what the uh, fully diluted value is going to be. Okay, let's jump into this. It is Christmas. You know, I'll I'll I'll, I'll put this up for you. I, I really have no intention of of talking about this story, but you know I, I do like the art a little bit, so I wanted to uh, get this up here. Just little just little Christmas vibes for you here on the show uh, here in GD Crypto. Thought you'd appreciate it. Hit the like button if you like, uh, you know, me jumping on here on a holiday. I know a lot of you are looking for something to do after the presents and before the dinner or whatever sports you're going to watch on TV, a big NBA day as, as, as per usual. Uh, but if you could throw me a like in the meantime, I, I would really love it. I mean, I just wanted to give you guys a fresh vid. You know, I wanted to give you guys something, tis the season and all that, but it, it, it's a down day. And a little known fact about Christmas, after the excitement of opening presents, most people are turning to their phones for three, four, often five hours. And I know what's out there uh, because I looked already. Uh, it's a lot of recapping 2023. It's generic portfolio management for 2024, when to take profit advice, best of stuff. You know, it's just that's boring. It's generic stuff. You're getting on YouTube because you want stuff that's current. And uh, and that's what we're doing right here. So all I want for Christmas back is a like of the video. And and we'll do a deep dive here on, on Friend, which has become one of the hottest projects on crypto Twitter over the Christmas holiday. Um, I did post this on Twitter X. Let me jump over here for you. Um, and I appreciate all the replies I've gotten from the Friend community or, uh, you know, from 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 all of our holders out there. Holders are called friends here, and it's it's funny on on tap tools they're trying to get them to change where it puts holders to friends. That would be epic if they could do that. But anyway, I'm bouncing around too much. We go to to my my Twitter. I I put this out a couple of days ago. Uh, I'm working towards a report on the Ada Peepos and friend holiday surprise here in Cardano Meme Land. Salute to at Crypto Shaman for the uh, idea. Um, he appreciated a video that I, I, I did about Snack last week. And I said, well, shoot, yeah, you know, if you guys want a video from me, I mean, who am I to say no? Um, I, and I just needed to, to, to get the absolute best information. So I threw that out there. I like to give, you know, people a chance here uh, to, to interact. Uh, you know, crypto is a community driven thing. What else is a must include? And there's my main man, Crypto Shaman. Uh, he said, thank you for the shout out. My favorite thing would be the Car Car Cardano community rally behind this free 5 ADA Mint that ADA Peepos did. The community really liked the drop so much that they're the ones who requested to bring friend to life. More on that here shortly. The second best thing would be how ADA Peepos and the founder, uh, Todashi, adapted their original intent to what the ADA Peepos community was asking for. Once again, thank you for the shout out. Can't wait for the video uh, to drop. Uh, you got it. Okay, did get some other interesting uh, replies in here, including one that I wanted to jump to. Memes everywhere, of course, but Dark Kerm. Okay, let me get you the thread here from Dark Kerm. He has a very interesting bio. I want to figure out who this dude is. Former professional athlete uh, turned crypto and NFT guy. You know, that happens. I, I know uh, Des Bryant is a guy that has done that, formerly the, you know, the Dallas Cowboy. And he has his personal corner and he's brought in a lot of athletes. But I think the majority of that happens on ETH and he's a Solana guy. So I'd be surprised to see, you know, uh, Dark Kern be Des Bryant. But but who knows? I mean, a couple of years ago, there was a mysterious figure uh, and on ETH Twitter turned out to be Snoop Dogg and his, and his son. <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? Dark Kern. Organic growth. No influencers have talked about us yet. We're growing through community exposure. Number two, community votes on the next initiatives and founders make that happen. I love that. Um, number three, founders have made some really solid calls and are organized. Plus, on top of things in Discord and Twitter, you just know they're cooking things up in the background. Number four, crypto can be a bleak place. Our Discord and community are welcoming and super chill. I can confirm that. There's there's strong Cardano vibes. I, I get the chilled Kongs vibes in here. You know, I, I don't think I've seen a single bad 
negative thing from from one friend to another or any FUD. It's just been outstanding. Number five, community has the same goal. We are friends and you don't bleep your friends. Number six, market cap still really low. So there's a ton of potential. Seven, burning mechanism. So it's deflationary. Eight, NFT staking is on the way. And nine, we are only three days uh, in from uh, the TGE. Uh, and then 10 community again. Yeah, I, I think he he nailed quite a bit of that. I do want you to think about this question. Okay, and here, let me give you something else to look at. Um, how about we go back to their their main site here, get get their uh, their deal a little bit love uh, here on their their homepage on the Ada Peepos. But a topic for you, uh, if you could leave a comment down below, I want you to think about this, and and I'll discuss. And I, I want to ask you guys on the comments, what do you think of this with multiple memes firing on multiple blockchains now? I mean, it was it was kind of clear what we were doing when Doge or Safe Moon or Shiba took off, and the entire crypto world kind of was looking at it. But now you have all chains trying to have their meme coins and multiple meme coins on those chains competing to be the meme of said chain it's where what, what's what's all this mean for the crypto world is this the new crypto world you know bitcoin let out over two months ago and ended up getting all the way to 44 from like 28 and it's been ranging from 40 to 44 for quite a few weeks now you know my portfolio more than doubled um you know, and Bitcoin and Ethereum have been stagnant. A lot of major altcoins other than Solana and a few others pretty much just chilling as a few altcoins and meme coins are absolutely raging. It is definitely meme season. Typically, meme season has been a sign that this portion of the cycle is over, but this one is just so different. And we're finding out in real time how this ecosystem is evolving. So what do you, what do you make of it? Leave a comment down below, like the video. Of course, you know, Three years ago, it was quite a different crypto world. And at the time, uh, the media, crypto influencers, content creators, whatever you want to call them, they're all majorly fading meme coins. And, you know, some of them got into, they're like, oh, well, let's just have a little bit of fun with this degen play. But, you know, this is really going nowhere and eventually it's going to zero. Okay, so let's just try to pump this thing up and get out before it goes to zero. And uh, it was mostly considered like, I don't know, like a lower class version of crypto, like where the, the TikTok crypto crowd hung out and, you know, did silly things and made up a bunch of lies to get people to ape into coins and then dump on their heads. That's really what it looked like. It's different now. It's evolved into being much more of a community. It's got a, a lot more credibility. And I think the fact that Doge and SHIB did not shrivel up and die uh, during the bear market, you know, gave people faith that, hey, maybe meme coins are actually a very crucial piece of the overall cryptocurrency ecosystem because it's responsible for the hype and bringing in retail. Because, um, you know, Chainlink being an oracle is badass science, but it's not the thing that's going to get the college kid sitting in his dorm room excited about the chances of making millions of dollars. What would be is popular memes that they've been sharing in social media since, you know, their parents gave them a phone and told them to leave them alone when they were five years old. You know, that's what this society is about and that's what's going to bring in retail it's really the only way that crypto interacts with the mainstream is through those memes you know um so i i i think what we're seeing is a further evolution of that um you know they they obviously aren't seen seen as a real store of value proposition it is definitely a a a, a hype and and retracement cycle but it's clearly have staying power now and you know, on, on the other side of crypto, on the other far extreme, you have the cryptographers, you have a blockchain uh, scientist, and you have that portion of crypto. And you have to wonder, are those just, are, you know, are, are, are those going to be the hardworking people that, you know, are essentially like the intel of the crypto future? And we know there's badass intel stuff inside of our technology, but what we really care about is the social media platforms and the games on our computers. Oh yeah, yeah, the 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 Pentium processor, the the latest graphics card, the best RAM. Oh yeah, that, that stuff is boring. What we care about is entertainment and fun and community. And I think that's what meme coins represent and now have a lot of credibility and stay and staying power. But yes, here we are in uncharted territory once again in this world of crypto. 
just as the the world of crypto is getting used to the idea that Cardano had actually produced a meme coin that had taken center stage, we get another one that's captivated the attention. There's another one sitting in the middle, Hosky, that's been around since the previous bull cycle. Not sure what to make of it. Um, uh, but there's there's really three uh, on, on Cardano that are amongst the trending tokens. Okay, so uh, looking at and, and animals dominating the trending tokens is where we are as we come over here to our friends at uh, at Tap Tools. And I love this site. If you're not on here, if you're a big Cardano guy, you can find out all sorts of information. Let's get some more information as we're sitting here at all time highs doing this damn show. Look at this. A um, little bit of slow internet up here in the mountains. Close to Mount Bachelor, by the way, if you're familiar with uh, Oregon or if you're into skiing at all. We're about 40 minutes from the lodge right here in beautiful Sun River, Oregon. Okay, we're uh, we're up to 23, 33 holders. On the 23rd, that was 1,500. Yesterday, that was about 2,050. So they got 500 holders uh, in the previous 24 hours, and we're heading back towards that trend with about six hours left here in, uh, in, in the crypto trading day, according to UTC. Daily volume has doubled. Um, it was around a, a million late in the week, then 2 million an hour at 4 million here compared to just 48 hours ago. Uh, so the volume in increasing significantly. I don't know whether the kind of charting stuff that you know you could really look at here, but some important metrics if you want to go across it here at the top. I think holders is important. The market cap 14 million ADA. The diluted market cap uh, is about 18 uh, million ADA. That's a little bit uh, misleading though because they burnt a ton of that supply. The, the total supply should actually be much closer, I think, to 310 billion than the 390 billion uh, that is uh, that is being shown. Okay, so those are some uh, interesting stats of where Friend is. Okay, uh, full disclosure on it, I did. I paid about 750 bucks for about 100 million Friend on the 23rd. I got 10 in an airdrop. I took out about 30% of it thinking that it would be a trade and then it, it absolutely took off and I don't think I'll get that back in. So I find that strategy kind of fun. If you're wondering what to do, how do I take profits without dumping on people's heads? And what about this FOMO that it's going to keep running? I say take 15, 20%, 25%, whatever your initial is, maybe get a little bit of profit out there and then let that bag ride. If it retraces and doesn't really break the trend or you feel like, you know what, this is just a normal meme coin up and down, maybe it comes down 25%, boom, you got a bag to like buy back in and help the charge go the other way. Okay, um, as far as what else I could tell you about friend, let's go through the uh, chronology of how this thing has, has taken place. I'm just going to leave you here. Uh, I'll, I'll bring this down to the 15 minute chart, give you a little bit of fun, fun to watch here as I continue to talk about it, come down a little bit from the all time high. Looks like we have 496 there trying to push over. That's a big psychological, you know, big round number there. The five trying to push over that we might take a, a quite a bit of a Christmas afternoon to get there. Okay, where did this whole thing start? Let, let's go through the chronology here. It started in early December with the release of the essential free NFT minting of the Ada Peepos. Okay, just started as as your guy Todashi saying, "Hey, I want to I want to do one of these Pepe memes here with the frogs on Cardano." It was free. It was five, and and right now uh, the floor is three thirty. OK, so salute to everybody that minted the hell out of that. It did sell out. There's only four thousand two hundred and sixty six uh, of them. Uh, they're 18 percent unique wallet. So the average wallet owns about five or six of these. Uh, I own three of them. The airdrop was supposed to be about 10 million friend per NFT. They decided that'd be too much. You know, they don't want to flood the market with a bunch of extra friend. Um, so what they ended up doing was making it. uh only 30% was airdropped and the remaining 70% was was burnt, okay? Uh, but anyway, back to where this all started on December 10th. In the days that followed, the community began to ask for a token. And in the early hours and days of that request, the community wanted to be named Peepo. And you're like, okay, well, I, it's going to be named Peepo and it makes sense to me, right? Let's let's uh, name this thing uh, after the NFT collection. You got Peepo on, with the eight of Peepos. And uh, it appeared that's the way we were going to head. But 
uh, Todashi through the Ada underscore Peepo's Twitter account released this message for you. Attention all Peepo holders, please read this thread filled with reasons why we can't move forward with the Peepo token that everyone has asked for. And you're like, all right here, let's jump in. Why exactly is this not going to be named Peepo? Number one, it's called Fred. That is all. <laughs> More details soon. Yeah, Peepo for the culture. Okay. So they decided for whatever reason, they did not spell it out, but they did not want to name it Peepo. They wanted to name it Friend. And I love that. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll tell you why more on that here in just a second. But about 10 minutes after that announcement, we got an announcement on Discord that basically said from Todashi, listen, um, I'm a one-man operation here and I'm busting my butt to do everything I possibly can. Uh, so if it's not, uh, perfect and on time, kind of just, uh, you know, have a little bit of patience with me cause I'm a one man army. And that was the point in this whole deal. That was around December 12th or 11th where you're like, okay, this thing is really starting to take off and the founder is overwhelmed shortly thereafter. We got announcements that he was building a team. There was a tokenomics guy that got involved and started, um, advising on uh, how to do a token launch and, you know, what kind of tokenomics, uh, you're looking for. And the next day they had an announcement that the pre-sale was coming on December 19th. Okay. Just that was a week before the 19th. We are now six days after the 19th and uh, holders of the eight of people's uh, NFT were essentially whitelisted into the pre-sale, depending on how many people's you held, you got to buy more and they were off and running. And in the first two days, they ate two zeros on the 21st. Uh, they clarified that 5% of the 7% royalty on the Ada Peepo sales will be used for buybacks and burns. And yesterday on Christmas Eve, they pulled 6,000 Ada for buybacks, which is going to be, uh, I don't know, is that over 100 million? I think that's over 100 million. Um, friend, if that happens on a daily basis, yeah, that's, that could get quite interesting, okay? There's been a, lot, a little bit of anxiety about airdrops and tokens hitting the market and whatnot. And the price has stalled a little bit when those concerns have come. But now we are through the airdrops. The burn is established. And I don't know if, you know, there's many other like FUD factors out there other than it being an early meme, you know, and, and we'll have to see. So as far as, you know, my advice for obviously not financial advice, but what I'm doing is, you know, I think. At this point, it's a coin with a whole heck of a lot of upside still in there. And they have some of the things that I think are really important. Some of the things that, you know, you, you saw in SNEC. Now, SNEC's been around since May. So that 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 time established in the market is huge. They have a real world prog product in, in, in the drink. You know, Friend has has been around the NFT for less than a month, the coin for, for less than a week. And that gives you a lot more risk. You know, this thing could lose significantly. The Pepe meme has been done quite a bit in, in crypto, and it's had, you know, some real great stories, but a lot of other very significant crashes. But they have a team that cares, a team that's responsible, a team that's not greedy. There's no stash of coins somewhere anymore that they could suddenly use to uh, rug pull uh, the, the entire project um, easily. You know, they're... Uh, there's a, a, a lot to be loved about this community and the immaculate vibes. And that appears to be like one of the most important driving factors. So you could go way up, you could go way down. But the fact that their market caps are around 10 million USD and snack is 15, it's a 15 X to get to where snack is. And that value is represented by the tremendous risk that you're taking. If you would want to jump into friend, I love it. I'm not selling what I have right now. I got in, again, took out my initial investment, and I'm going to wait to see what happens. I think at a time like this, in this incredible uh, bull market that we are already in and heading for, this is the time where crazy life-changing things can happen. And, you know, for me, I'm comfortable with taking five or six or 700 bucks after saving and investing for years in the bear market. You know, that's quite a bit of money to take out of a paycheck. But if you have a nest egg that you've built for for things like this inside crypto, maybe you hit big on Snack or Track or, you know, uh, Solana. And you're like, hey, what is something I could do with these profits of house money, put it in something that has a low market cap that gives me a chance? 
What if friend becomes as big as snack? What if snack and friend become as big as shib? What does my life look like at that point? You know, you could take that $500 and, and go on a cruise. You could take that $500 and go out for an incredible night uh, at dinner and dancing. 500 bucks. Look at that. Oh, you could get a, a five-star hotel for one night. What an experience you could have. Or you could look for the new meme coin and say, maybe that goes to zero but maybe it changes my life. And that's the game that I'm in right now. And if you are with me, they might call us a D-Gen. I'm just a prospector, you know? Uh, you know, uh, 300 years ago, I'd be getting my my pan out there and I'd be in San Francisco in the river trying to, you know, find my gold chunk. Right now, I'm looking for memes in crypto Twitter. Okay, what other things you can do with the friend? Let's share this tab instead. We're going to min swap. Uh, and you... Uh, you're launching the app on MinSwap now. I want to share this tab instead. Uh, you can add liquidity. Look at that. Uh, even though Friend is is not that old, uh, you come over here, plug a friend in to their deal, and MinSwap does a great job there of making it real easy on you. And they even have uh, I bad internet right now. So you can even zap in if you only have uh, – one of the two tokens to create a liquidity provider token, you can just zap it in there. Okay, what else can I tell you here about friend before it is time to go here, my friends? I mean, these friends are, are constantly talking about trying to meet their friend, uh, Jenny Wealth. Um, and this is awesome. You know, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, so I was confused about it until Christmas Eve. And for some reason, I said it out loud and it clicked. Full name, Generational Wealth. Uh, so best of luck to everybody out there meeting their very own Jenny. Uh, we're, we're running towards Jenny, just like Forrest Gump. Um, and the easiest way to get it is with a Vesper wallet, V-E-S-P-R. You send some ADA to your Vesper and you can trade right inside the app. There, there is a, a swap built into it that makes it incredibly easy. Um, so if you're interested, you know, obviously in America, most people have a Coinbase account, buy some ADA, send it to your Vesper. And boom, you are done. As we uh, we did it, we're back into another all time high. This is an all time high recording. I can't go back and re record this at this point. We ate the five. I was just saying how hard it was going to be to eat this five, and boom, there we go. Five oh six out there strutting in the clean air once again, dude. Ada Peepos and friend. This is uh, it's quite a scene out here. Okay, a uh, couple of other news items to get here for you. Uh, let me see where, where am I going to find this, uh, this next story? I, I don't know if I am going to find this next story. As a matter of fact, I, I think I'm just going to have to tell you about it. I, cause I don't know. It, was it, was it posted on Twitter somewhere? Uh, no, it's just getting weird. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. We got some snack news here for you. Uh, thanks for tuning into GD crypto. Please like the video. Um, snacks, not yet officially listed on KuCoin. Snack is heading for gate IO. That is the story as uh, multiple uh, Twitter accounts on Cardano have been talking about this over the last 12 to 24 hours or so. Gate is a top 10 exchange. It joins MEXC as major exchanges that are listing Snack. There are strong rumors about a uh, KuCoin coming soon, uh, but that's not confirmed, not yet. Both those things, you know, are going to be really significant for Snack long term. I don't think the gate Rumor is really firing up uh, anybody, uh, you know, getting listed on Binance or Coinbase, the two biggest brands is where the price will really explode because that's where that's where retail is going to come first. That's where new people are going to be like, oh, my goodness, uh, snacks here. Now there's zero barrier of entry. I mean, go try to tell as soon as you're done watching this video, you're hanging out with family. Go try to explain to like your uncle or your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, whoever you might be with your niece about how a wallet and a decentralized exchange work. I mean, just say the word decentralized exchange and watch them suddenly look at the ceiling or their shoes or go get another beer. It's just, it's easy for us. If you're not in crypto, for whatever reason, going from decentralized exchange like Coinbase or Binance to other decentralized exchange like Kraken or Gate or MEXC, that is exponentially more difficult to these people. That's a factor of 10, more difficult. You just said something other than Coinbase. Now, go to decentralized exchange, MinSwap, plug in your wallet. They'll probably pull out their leather wallet 
and say, how do I plug this into a website, you idiot? Okay, that's what you're looking at here. It's got to be on Coinbase or Binance. And when that happens, you get retail mania. So I'm sorry. I love Snack, but uh, Gate, thank you, Goofy. You're doing a hell of a job, man. This is just outstanding. Everything you're doing, managing the product is great. We got to crawl before we walk. We get Gate. We get Kraken. We get MEXC. And then KuCoin. Okay, that's used to be a little bit cooler when they still let us get it in Texas. Is it, is it available anywhere in America right now, KuCoin? I don't know. Uh, yeah, a little, little cooler. Get to the top. And that's that's when uh, the absolute glory starts. Okay, uh, next headline here on GD Crypto. SEC has set a deadline for a spot Bitcoin ETF updates on December 29th. The issuers that don't meet that deadline will not be part of the first wave. It's just getting so close. I mean, this is, it's on. Gary Gensler has let everybody know, if you have anything to add to your application here, get it in before the 29th because everybody's expecting the SEC to approve the Bitcoin ETF uh, between uh, January 8th and 10th. Okay, so early in 2024, we're going to get there. And now it's just a matter of, is this going to be buy the rumor, sell the news, or is it going to be here comes tons of institutional money and day one it gets turned on? You're looking at a half trillion dollars, you know, coming into the market. And I think the smart money is on buy the rumor, sell the news. Uh, my move is just hold and wait because it's the beginning of a bull market. And if we do have a 20 percent dip, I don't give a crap. Um, but, you know, I think for traders, that becomes incredibly important. Next headline here in GD Crypto. How about this? I'm just talking to my dad about this. El Salvador invites foreigners to bring Bitcoin into the country. Their government, their government's embracing Bitcoin donations. And if you give them some Bitcoin, they will accelerate your citizenship. Uh, offers a, It's a significant move and facilitated Bitcoin related opportunities there in the country. He's a freaking Bitcoin maxi that's made it, uh, uh, you know, in a, in a, an official uh, currency there. In El Salvador, he's the president. He's been very aggressive in trying to reshape that country. I think they have some beautiful beach communities. You know, it is actually an attractive destination for a lot of people that have made a big in, in crypto and are looking for a place to go where they are going to be encouraged instead of discouraged to, you know, operate in the uh, the cryptocurrency ecosystem. And some of these countries are even offering like, uh, you know, tax free uh, type of uh, profits. If you profit on Bitcoin, you don't have to pay taxes. Okay. Speaking of that, next headline here on GD Crypto. I thought I was going to have it, but uh, I don't have this headline for whatever reason. It's it's not in, in my browser, but Japan is eyeing scrapping corporate tax on unrealized crypto profits. So um, that's, th that's the way it should be. It's awesome to see these other countries exploring freedom. So basically, you don't have to pay taxes until you take it out of crypto and put it back in a bank, right? So I put money on Coinbase. That money can go all kinds of crazy places. It comes back to Coinbase as a bunch of different coins. I put that back into US dollars, not taxed at all yet. Boom, into my banking account. Now it's tax time. And I just hope that America doesn't like, you know, slit its own throat when it comes to encouraging innovation. Okay, not a lot of TA today, but I did read a book on my flight out here to Oregon. And um Hopefully, I'm, it'll make me a little bit better at the technical analysis. The only technical analysis book you will ever need. I enjoyed it by Brian Hale. I'm just trying to add layers to my TA education and see where it goes. One thing I learned is I'm relying on indicators too much and not enough on determining the pattern of the candles and then using that pattern to sort of inform, you know, is it going to continue? Is it going to reverse? And that's maybe a better starting point. Um, I, but I, I do think I have SNEC in a, in a symmetrical triangle or a bull flag, depending on, on how you chart it. Let me see. Where's my trading view? Yes. Okay. I got it. I got it in this symmetrical triangle. It looks like it might be starting to break out right now. And I measured the move. Again, my TA is not good. The measured move would be a 2X from here. Okay. And that's where the Fibonacci says it should go as well. 2.004 on this next breakout. If I'm right about that, uh, can I take a little bit of profit on SNEC at 0.004? I think I should. I'm going to take a little bit of profit at 0.004 if I'm right about that. And then it should it should retrace and we'll find a good spot to get back in. There it is, the video. Salute to all the friends out there. 
I hope you're having as much fun here on this crypto journey as I am. Again, get the ADA in your Vesper by right there. You do not need to connect that Vesper wallet to any decentralized exchange in order to buy friend. So uh, Merry Christmas. And until next time, I'm Gavin Dawson. This has been my wide world of crypto. Cold beers all around. Salute.